Hello everyone! Welcome back to another video of Melody Storytelling of the Oriental Odyssey episode 43 and episode 44. Now let's get started. Mu Le told the queen that he loves Ye Yuan An and wants to marry her. Before meeting with the queen, Ye Yuan An accidentally touched a poisonous flower that irritates the skin and gives her rashes. So she had to cover her face when meeting the queen. The queen asked if she wants to marry Mu Le. She rejected at first, but then she agrees because she still needs to kill him. But we all know she's not going to kill him. On the night of the wedding, Ye Yuan An has a knife with her and Mu Le saw it. Mu Le gave her the knife and said that he bet that she won't kill him. And yep, she didn't kill him. This is my favorite, favorite scene. With great music, great acting, and just two of them. When Ye Yuan An wanted to leave, Mu Le told her why he wanted to marry her so quickly. This is my favorite part, and this part is so romantic, so I decided to show you with English subs. How can anyone say no to that? I watched this scene so many times. Great music, great acting, and just amazing. It hurts me so much seeing Mu Le cry. After Ye Yuan An left, she got kidnapped by the other prince A Heng, and A Heng is trying to use Ye Yuan An to kill Mu Le because he knows that Mu Le will come to save her. Mu Le didn't tell anyone that he is going, but somehow the king knows about it and also came in. Yun Xi tried to kill the king with three flying knives, and Ye Yuan An tried to block it, but she only got hit by two of them. The past can be changed even if she tried. The king still got stabbed by the knife, and Mu Le still needs to go find the divine beads. Mu Le saw both his dad and Ye Yuan An getting hurt, and he can't control his temper. And when he cannot control his temper, that's when he turns into a red dragon. A Hen told the queen and Mu Le that there's a way to cure the king by getting the divine beads. Mu Le left to find the divine beads and Ye Yuan An came with him. She wanted to kill him, but they got into an accident. Then Ye Yuan An got sent back to the present time. None of the past has changed. Did you guys remember in the very beginning of the drama Oriental Odyssey, when Mu Le saw Ye Yuan An dressed like a girl for the first time, he had some flashbacks of her. So Mu Le already knew Ye Yuan An, but he just couldn't remember. Zhao Lanzhi and Ming Hui try to steal the divine beads on the night of the full moon when Mu Le is very vulnerable to turning into the red dragon. A lot of people are giving hate to Ming Hui. My opinion is that she isn't really bad, and she is also willing to do anything for Zhao Lanzhi no matter what it takes. Ming Hui and Zhao Lanzhi didn't succeed, and instead they got caught by the queen. Tian Shu came to the rescue and this is when we realized that Tian Shu is actually the person that helped the queen give birth to both Mu Le and A Heng. Wow, what a small world. That night, Mu Le turned into the red dragon and Tian Shu sacrificed himself to save Mu Le. This is so sad because I really really like Tian Shu as a character. Ming Hui and Zhao Lanzhi also fell into the water. Ye Yuan An went to see if she can find them and they were nowhere to be found and Mu Le got taken back to the palace. That's the end of my trailer for Oriental Odyssey episode 43 and episode 44. Hope you enjoy it and make sure to comment below on what your thoughts of this drama Oriental Odyssey is. I will be updating more episodes so make sure to like and subscribe for more future videos and I'll talk to you in my next video.